It's a small step for man, but a giant leap for mankind. That's what Neil Armstrong said when he landed on the moon, which was July 20th, Moon Day. On July 16th, the Apollo 11 departed from the Kennedy Space Center with Neil Armstrong, Edwin Aldrin Jr., and Michael Collins aboard. If they are going to be able to make it off the ground, they are going to need enough energy. Their Saturn V was able to provide just the right amount of energy that the spacecraft needed to get into the Earth's orbit, boosting it to an astonishing 25,000 miles per hour. The Saturn V can be broken down into three stages. The first stage had the most powerful engines because it had to lift the spacecraft off the ground. The second stage brought it almost up into orbit, and the third and final stage brought the Apollo 11 into the Earth's orbit and towards the moon. A replica of the F1 engine used in the first stage can be found here at the New York Hall of Science Rocket Park. The F1 engine was used to propel the first stage of Saturn V during the first two and a half minutes of an Apollo flight to the moon. It has a thrust of 1.5 million pounds, which is enough to lift the 6.2 million pounds of Saturn V. On July 20th, 1969, Armstrong and Aldrin walked on the moon's surface and were the first humans to ever do so. They also made a notable discovery that there's a difference in gravity between the moon and Earth. The difference in the moon's gravity and the Earth's gravity is caused by the moon having a smaller mass. The Earth weighs 5.972 times 10 to the 24th kilogram, whereas the moon weighs 7.3476-7309 times 10 to the 22nd kilogram. The difference in mass causes the moon to have 1 the amount of gravity that the Earth has. It's also the reason why objects on the moon weigh less than on the Earth and why astronauts take funny hops when they first get on the moon due to the difference in gravity. If you would like to learn more about space exploration, come explore the rocket park here at the New York Hall of Science. We have replicas of rockets and spacecrafts. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it. And as always, if you have any science topics or questions that you'd like to see in one of our upcoming NISAI videos, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and keep learning with us.